everyone my name is Christian and welcome to my second YouTube channel overwatch gaming my first channel is called awkward tech and it's everything tech related so if you are interested in that then definitely check that out but that is not what's important what's important is what is this channel gonna be about this channel is gonna be everything gaming related and as most of you know Blizzard is releasing their new game overwatch on May 24th and I did have a chance to play during their open beta and I absolutely got hooked I absolutely love the game 100% and I cannot wait to play as you can see in the back I am obviously a little obsessed with the game and to my right I do have all the overwatch gaming peripherals and I thought it would be the perfect idea to unbox them for you guys for my first video for this channel so without further ado guys let's get started all right guys let's go ahead and get started the first thing we're gonna be unboxing is going to be the overwatch razor goliath speed extended mouse pad now this is the front of the box and it does say some of the features. It says slick taut weave, anti-fraying stitch frame, and pixel precise targeting and tracking. Right now I'm completely bare bones. I absolutely have no mouse pad, no keyboard, and no mouse. I did end up selling them so I'm able to purchase these, but it is worth it 100%. As we move on to the side of the box, you still see a picture of the mouse pad and it says Overwatch is a team to base shooter where heroes do battle in a world of conflict. As you move on to the back, it tells you the size of the mouse pad and you see a picture of what looks to be Soldier 76. And as we move on to the last side of the box, it shows all the gaming peripherals together and it says feel the difference and you're able to feel the mouse pad outside the box, which is pretty sweet. So yeah, that is what's on the box. So let's go ahead and get unboxing this. But before we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know who my favorite heroes are for each role. So for the attacking role, my favorite hero is Tracer. For, for the defense role, my favorite hero is Hanzo. And for the tank role, my favorite hero is Reinhardt. And my healer of choice is going to be Zenyatta. So those are my four favorite heroes right now. But who knows, that could change once the game does come out. And supposedly they are announcing a new hero on Monday, which I cannot wait for. But let's go ahead and start unboxing this. Alright, so let's go ahead and pull this tab out. I absolutely love the colors of Overwatch, the white and orange. I think they look really sweet looking. And I really like the logo. It just looks really classy. Blizzard always does a great job at making their games unique. So as you can see right on the top, we have an orange cardboard with the Razer logo on it. So that doesn't really matter. So we'll go ahead and toss that aside. And it looks like here is the mouse pad. So let's pull it out. Bam. Box is officially empty so we're gonna throw that aside and here's the mouse pad so as you can see hope you guys can see this all right it says overwatch on the bottom left corner with the razor logo and then you got some spark action going on and as you go across some more sparks in the dark and bam we have a huge overwatch symbol right there so this is gonna be my new mouse pad i can't wait it looks absolutely fantastic so let's put it down right now. Bam, there you go guys. I officially have a mouse pad now. Now I've never owned a mouse pad from Razer, so I'm really excited to try this out. I really wanna see if this whole precise movement is really gonna help. So yeah, so that was the unboxing of the mouse pad, but let's go ahead and move on to, I think we're gonna do the mouse. So let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, let's get started with the mouse. So as always, we're gonna start with what's on the box. And as you can see, there's obviously a picture of what the mouse looks like. It says Razer Death Adder Chroma, and it lists some of the features, which are ergonomic shape, ultra accurate optical sensor, and Razer Chroma customizable lighting. 
Now, just to let you guys know really quickly, I have never used a mouse made by Razer, so I'm definitely looking forward to trying it out. I've heard really good things about it, so I guess we'll have to find out. But as you move on to the right side of the box, it looks like it lists some more features, and that is the ergonomic shape favored by top eSport athletes, ultra accurate optical sensor, and Razer Chroma customizable lighting. Now as we move on to the back of the box, it obviously has another picture of the mouse and it looks like it lists some more features. So I'll go ahead and name them off. Number one is a seven foot lightweight braided fiber cable. Number two is five programmable hype response buttons. Number three is the Razer Chroma customizable lighting. Number four is the ergonomic shape. And number five is the rubberized contoured side grip. So those are some pretty sweet features. Can't wait to use this mouse. And as we move on to the last side of the box, it's pretty much the same thing that was on the extended mouse pad box. It says Overwatch is a teamed base shooter where heroes do battle in a world conflict. You have a picture of all the gaming peripherals together and it says all the features once again. So that was what was on the box. So let's go ahead and start unboxing it. I really can't wait to start using it, especially in Overwatch. I really want to see if it's going to make a difference. But let's go ahead and take this annoying tape off. So far though, I do have to give it to Razer. Their boxing for these items have been fantastic. I really like the look of them. It looks like it's got like a carbon fiber print right there, which is pretty sweet. I really like the colors as well. So let's go ahead. Oh, and actually really quickly on the top, as you can see, if anybody is a Genji fan, there is a picture of Genji on top. But if you're not a Genji fan, you probably don't care. So let's go ahead and pull this out. All right, here we go, guys. So here we go, pull that out. So the box is officially empty. I always do keep my boxes, I really like to, just for resale value, I think it makes a big difference. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys do the same. But let's go ahead and put the box aside now that it's empty. All right, now that the box is aside, the first thing I'm seeing it looks like is a welcome note from Razer in the color orange, which is obviously the Overwatch colors. It says, congratulations, there is no turning back. I'm not gonna read all of this for you guys. I'll definitely read it later. It looks pretty sweet. Thank you, Razer, for that. The next thing I'm seeing is immerse yourself deeper into Overwatch with chroma in-game lighting effects. I'm honestly not too sure what this is, but let's go ahead and see what's on the back. Oh, that's pretty sweet. It looks like we got another picture of Genji on the back. So if you are a Genji fan, you guys would probably really appreciate that. What's on the back of the other one? Oh, it looks like we got a picture of the mouse. That's pretty cool. And finally, we have the Razer Death at a Chroma manual. Nothing too fancy. Pretty much what every electronic comes with. Oh, we got one more thing, and it looks like we get two Razer stickers. I'll have to use those on something. Not too sure yet what I'm going to use them on, but I'll figure that out later. And finally, we have reached the mouse. So as you can see, here's the mouse. We got the cable as well. It's a pretty cool orange and black braided cable. Let's go ahead and take this plastic off. Put this all aside. And there it is. The size looks fantastic. I was definitely expecting it to feel a lot smaller and be a lot smaller, but it's definitely a great size. Oh, let's go ahead, ooh. So smooth, so silky smooth. Definitely cannot wait to use this in Overwatch. Um, definitely feels great, moves fantastically, nice and buttery smooth. Scrolls nicely, clicks nicely. I just cannot wait to use this baby. So here's the mouse, I'll bring it up close for you guys. As you can see, here's one side, it has this really nice grippy texture to it, rubber grippy texture. Here's the other side, you have two buttons. I'm honestly not too sure what I would use these buttons for. I guess maybe some of the hero powers or something. I'm honestly not too sure. Let me know what you guys use those buttons for down in the comments below. But yeah, this mouse looks absolutely fantastic. It feels fantastic. I can't wait to use it. I am gonna be showing you guys 
some action shots of the peripherals in action while I'm playing the game. So definitely stay tuned for that. But let's go ahead and move on to unboxing the keyboard. All right, guys, we have unboxed the extended mouse pad and the mouse. So now let's go ahead and unbox the best part. And that is the Razer Black Widow Chroma. Now I'm really excited to start using this thing. I've never used a Razer keyboard before. I've heard good things about them and I've heard bad things about them. But the main reason why I got this keyboard is obviously because it is the Overwatch edition. So let's go ahead and get started with what's on the box. It's gonna be kind of hard to fit this whole box in the picture, so if you guys can't see it, I do apologize. But as you can see on the front, it does say Razer Black Widow Chroma, and it's obviously the Overwatch edition. You can see a picture of the keyboard, and it says some things on the side. It says multi-award winning Razer mechanical switches designed for gaming. Greater durability compared to standard mechanical switches and Razer Chroma backlighting with 16.8 million customizable color options. Now, if you ask me, that is definitely quite impressive. Now, as you move on to one side, there is a picture of my favorite attack hero and that is Tracer and it says Razer Black Widow Chroma. On the other side, it says the same thing but it has a picture of Reinhardt, which is my favorite tank hero. And on the back, it looks like we have a picture of the keyboard. It lists some of the features. Number one being individually backlit keys powered by Razer Chroma. Number two, easy access media keys for convenient volume control and media playback. Number three, mechanical key architecture with distinct tactile feel and faster response. And number four, 10 key rollover for extreme anti-ghosting. And then on the left side, it says the world's first mechanical switch designed for gaming. So it is the Razer mechanical switch. And some of the facts about it is the actuation point is 1.9 plus 0.4 mm. The actuation versus reset point is 0.4 mm. The lifespan is up to 60 million keystrokes. And the actuation force is 50 G with optimized tactical feel. So that is the box the Overwatch Razer Black Widow Chroma comes in. So now that we've looked at the box, let's go ahead and start unboxing the keyboard. All right, as always, we gotta remove this annoying tape, so let's go ahead and do that. There you go, tape aside. Let's go ahead and flip. Oh, looks like we got one more. that out let me know in the comments down below what your guys's favorite heroes are i'm definitely interested to find that out and yeah so let's go ahead and open it up so as you can see there is the keyboard you can also see me so there's the keyboard let's go ahead and take the plastic off Oh, okay, so the whole keyboard just comes right up. Bam, whoa. Whoops, all right, well, as you guys can see, the box is officially empty. Let's put the keyboard down. I did drop some of the paperwork it came with, so let's go ahead and find out what it comes with. So, right away, it says, immerse yourself deeper into Overwatch with Razer Chroma in-game lighting effects. You guys have seen that before. It came with the mouse, so let's go ahead and put that aside. Looks like you guys have seen this before as well. It's another welcome note from Razer. And it looks like you guys have seen this before as well, as well as the stickers. So pretty much comes with all the same stuff the mouse came with. So yeah, that is all the paper it came with, but let's get to the best part of the unboxing. And that is unboxing the keyboard. So let's go ahead, take the sides off, take the sides off and take the plastic off. And it is officially not brand new anymore. It's technically used, which is sad, but it's okay because I am definitely plan on using this for a long time. As long as Overwatch is out, I plan on using it. Got one more piece. I don't know why they put that on there. 
it looks like it's a piece of tape i'll have to cut that off oh no there you go so as you can see it does have the orange and a black braided cable it's nice and long and voila here is the keyboard let's go ahead and push one of the buttons they feel very nice they definitely feel a lot softer than my last keyboard and they're definitely not as loud i'm definitely really excited to use these I really can't wait to see how the lights look when I play the game. I've heard they change colors according to your hero and different keys light up depending on what they do. So this definitely so far looks like a great keyboard. As you can see on the top right, it says Overwatch. I'm honestly not too sure if like these are touch buttons. I'll have to figure that out. Um, so yeah, looks fantastic. Can't wait to use it. You guys are about to see some action shots here in just a bit. If you look under, ooh, that is really cool. It's completely orange on the bottom. Looks like we have a little sticker as well with some pointless information. And it looks like we have two kickstands so it can sit up. So there you have it, guys. That was the unboxing of the keyboard, the mouse, and the extended gamepad. I hope you guys like those unboxings, but I'm pretty sure you guys want to see these things in action. So let's get started with that. Yo, what up? Oh, monkey business. Cheers, love! The cavalry! Oh. Dragon 